Greetings Chill Wavers, it's me Chill Wave Kittens and today we are going to be doing a tier list for cigarettes. We're not going to be doing every cigarette ever because I haven't tried every cigarette ever but I've tried enough to make a tier list. There's tons that I'm never going to try and there's tons that you probably know about that I don't so if they didn't make it that's why. I'm also not encouraging anybody to smoke and I'm also not encouraging anybody to not smoke. Uh, there's no judgment coming from this video. I smoked for 10 years and then I quit. I started vaping uh, and then my nicotine addiction got much, much worse. Uh, I think vaping, uh, <laughs> vaping is much more dangerous than cigarettes uh, because cigarettes are kind of more of a hassle to get away with and vapes, you can kind of get away with it anywhere. I, I quit smoking cigarettes and then I would smoke during like traumatic events and times of stress every now and then. Uh, and then that transformed into when I wanted to have fun. So maybe like once every few months I would smoke, but I think I'm done now. The last time I did it, uh, I was on acid and I smoked a cigarette and I was like, this is really gross. I'm done with this forever. I don't want my fingers to ever smell like this again. I don't want my breath to ever smell like this again. I just don't want it. It was that situation that made me realize that I should uh, make a tier list video because I've smoked enough cigarettes to where I can separate them and rank them and talk about them and talk about memories with them. So that's what we're gonna do and it's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay y'all, and before we get started, I'm just going to say that I haven't been paying attention too much to cigarettes in a long time. Uh, so I'm basing this off of what I remember about them when I was a heavy smoker. I know they changed names and boxes and designs, uh, like lights are now called blues and so on and so forth. So if I say anything incorrectly, just bear with me. And also for those who don't know how tier lists work, the S tier is the best, the A tier is really great, uh, the B tier is good, the C tier is okay, and the D tier is bad uh, slash the worst. First up we have Paul Mall Blues. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put Paul Mall Blues in the C tier. Uh, they're okay, they're not terrible. Uh, I would smoke one if offered, but I would also never buy them. Parliaments. Ugh. I think parliaments are pretty overrated. Uh, a lot of people really like parliaments. I always thought they were a little bit tasteless. Uh, and I think people who smoke parliaments tend to uh, be kind of annoying. No offense. I'm going to go ahead and also throw parliaments into the C tier because I would smoke them if offered. Pyramid Reds. Okay. <laughs> uh, these are fucking terrible. They're so gross. Uh, and it's like after somebody smokes a cigarette they they usually smell bad but after somebody smokes a fucking pyramid it is much much worse than your run-of-the-mill uh cigarette uh they taste like shit and uh i feel like everybody who uh smokes pyramids uh currently owes somebody money i would not smoke these if 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 offered to me for free i would never buy them uh, Pyramid Reds are going into the D tier. Uh, Marlboro uh, Menthols. I'm not a big fan of Marlboros. I think uh, I, I think they're also pretty overrated. Um, Marlboro Menthols, though, I think are the best ones that they have to offer. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw Marlboro Menthols into the A tier. Okay, up next, Camel Turkish Jades. I was actually a little bit disappointed by Turkish Jades. I was a big fan of the Turkish blends, and uh, I did like menthols too, so I was really excited to try it. But it really uh, didn't taste like anything special, and uh, I think I only bought a couple packs. So we're going to go ahead and throw the Turkish Jades into the C tier. Um... And now we're to Pall Mall Reds. Okay, so Pall Malls are, I think those are like the best cheap cigarettes. Um, I would definitely uh, buy them if I had to. Uh, I don't think I ever did, but I also liked them when people gave them to me. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and throw Pall Mall Reds into the B tier. Camel Red Lights. Uh, these are not very good. Um, I think I bought one pack of these because I wanted to buy Camel Reds, but they didn't have any. So I was like, maybe I'll buy the Camel Red Lights uh, and it won't taste that much different. And it was heavily disappointing, uh, but not terrible. I will also throw Camel Red Lights into the C tier. Camel 99s. <sighs> Now this is a fucking cigarette right here. 
<laughs> these little these long motherfuckers. I, I remember when I went through my Camel 99s phase, I would like I'd be like worn out by the time I was uh like 75% done with the cigarette, but you know, it, it's it, you just want to keep going cuz you want to get as much of the cigarette as you can, and I'd always be exhausted uh by the end of it. Incredible taste uh on these. I think I'm going to go ahead and put Camel 99 filters in the S tier. American Spirit Yellows. Um, I'm actually very excited about this uh, because fuck American Spirits. Uh, they suck. They taste like shit. People who smoke American Spirits are real uppity about smoking American Spirits. Uh, I think because of the how natural they are, uh, the, people think that they're somehow better for you than other cigarettes, and you know maybe they are. But to be perfectly honest, uh, people who smoke them never shut up about smoking American Spirits, and they also uh, they don't taste good. I mean, cigarettes, I guess, in actuality, don't taste good. But American Spirits don't have the good shit uh, that you want out of a cigarette. Like I think it was the the Always Sunny podcast. They were talking about uh, cigarettes because they smoked, and um, they were talking something about about American Spirits and how they don't like them because they don't have all the chemicals and shit in them. And I, I totally agree. I, that's that's what I loved about cigarettes is the weird addictive uh, chemicals that they put in there that made them so tasty and made me want them. Uh, and so, yeah, I've never enjoyed smoking American Spirit Yellows. They take too long to smoke. Uh, they give me a headache. I'm throwing American Spirit Yellows into the fucking D tier where it belongs. Palm Mall Menthols, me and a friend, uh, when I didn't have a job, I don't think either of us had jobs, uh, but we still found a way to party all the time. We were we were pounding uh, Natty Lights and whatever cheap uh, hard alcohol we could get on a daily basis. I wanted to buy Camels, but I, I knew I had to ration my money. These were cheaper, so we would split uh, a pack of Pall Mall menthol 100s every, every day or every other day. I can't remember how often it was, but it was at least every other day. And I actually really liked these. Uh, I bought a lot of these and I got nothing good but to say about Pall Mall menthols. We're gonna go ahead and throw those into the S tier. Camel Turkish Silvers, again, I am a big fan of the Turkish uh, blends, uh, but this one, this one's good. It's not great, um, throw it in the B tier. I only bought those one or two times. Lucky Strike non-filters. Uh, this is also worthy of being called a fucking cigarette. Uh, this one will hit you right in the throat. Uh, you'll feel real cool smoking these. Um, I only bought a few packs of these, but uh, I remember really enjoying them. I thought I was going to smoke them forever, but after smoking a few packs, I realized it made my uh, chest hurt. But I'm still going to go ahead and throw Lucky Strike non-filters into the S tier. Camel Blues. Uh... D tier. These suck. These are fucking terrible. Okay, Camel Crushes. The OG Camel Crush. I know there's like a million Camel Crushes, but these. this was the first uh, iteration of the Camel Crushes. I had just become a lifeguard and I had just started smoking. And uh, these were, I was trying to date a girl uh, who liked menthols, but I liked regular cigarettes. So I would buy these and share them with her. Uh, and it would be like the, uh, the, you know, we both win. And they were okay. Um, I think as time went on, they really improved on the on the crushes and the taste and the the boldness of it. But I do appreciate uh, what it did. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and throw these into the C tier because there's better versions of it that we will get to. I do love that you can decide if you want a menthol halfway into your cigarette. Camel filters, uh, also stand up cigarette, one of the best. I smoked these for a long time. Uh, and they're gonna go in the S tier. Camel non-filters. Um, these are really good, got really great taste. Uh, they do hurt a little bit, but I mean, so do the Lucky Strikes and non-filtered cigarettes just hit way harder and you feel like way more of a badass than you are. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw the Camel non-filters into the S tier. Okay, now we are at Camel Wide Blues. 
Um, these taste like shit. <laughs> I love Camel Wides. I've had to get these a few times and every time it has been not enjoyable. One time uh, for Christmas, my mother asked me uh, what kind of cigarettes I wanted and I said I wanted Camel Wides and she got me Camel Wide Blues, uh, like four packs of them. And I was like, well, I got free cigarettes, so it is what it is. And man, it was hard to finish those cigarettes. They do not taste anything like Camel Wides. It hurts. Um, and the the lightness of it just doesn't do it any favors. We're throwing Camel Wide lights into the D tier. Camel Wides, these are the fucking cigarette right here, boy. I love how fucking fat they are. This was probably the cigarette I smoked the most of. This is what I started smoking with and I smoked these for like six years somehow. It's a beefy, beefy cigarette. Uh, my friend, uh, one time we were partying and uh, he had a, a pack and a spare uh, which is 21 cigarettes in case you weren't inclined. So he was all drunk and, and willing to share with me. And uh, I think we killed the pack in maybe an hour and a half. We did, uh, we did dragons where you take, you take three cigarettes and you smoke all of them at the same time. <laughs> shit was fucking baller. Yeah, Camel Wides are the shit. We're gonna go ahead and throw those into the S tier. Camel Reds, probably the best cigarette of all time. Yes, this is the best cigarette of all time. If I had to smoke one more cigarette in my life, I would smoke a Camel Red. I don't know if they sell these anymore, um, but they're always a couple dollars more. They're always harder to find. You can't find them in gas stations, I'm pretty sure. It, it's just like a higher quality version of all of the, like the Camel Filters or the Camel 99s or the Camel wides the flavor is really full i cherished every moment i had with camel reds we're gonna go ahead and throw that in the s tier and just we're gonna put that in the number one spot because that's the best cigarette ever uh we'll throw camel wides right next to that that's the second best cigarette ever pyramid blues again with the pyramids they taste like shit and people who smoke them owe people money and um yeah i wouldn't smoke one of these if i was offered one when i did smoke i turned these down many times uh, now we're at gold coasts so gold coast i think i think gold coast were my first few cigarettes i my grandma used to smoke them and i definitely stole a few of them but the thing is, is the pack I stole them from, I think were, was like five years old, so they were extra bad. But they still had a little bit of a kick to them. They weren't, they weren't good, but they were okay. So we're gonna go ahead and throw Gold Coast into the C tier. Winston's, I don't really have too much of an opinion on them. They're fine. We're gonna go ahead and throw Winston's into, uh, we're gonna throw them in the C tier. Winston's are just okay. Lucky Strike filters. I really do love the Lucky Strike non-filters, but, I feel like what was so cool about Lucky Strike is that they weren't filters and I don't think they started doing the filtered ones until later on. And to be honest, it just kind of tastes like a standard cigarette, nothing too great. But I did have a few of these and they were good. So we're gonna throw that in the B tier. Marlboro Reds, okay, these cigarettes are pretty gross. They don't taste very good. This is probably tied for the most popular cigarette, Marlboro Reds. I'm pretty sure I, bought a pack of these when I started smoking because that's one of the only ones I knew, but I remember not liking it. It tasted like cardboard and uh, yeah, these are these are trash, but they're not the worst. I would smoke one of these if offered one. We're gonna throw that in the C tier. Camel Crush Bolds. Uh, now these are the these are the best Camel Crush cigarette. The flavor was very full, and the uh, the menthol was a little bit more minty. I think the 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 original Camel Crushes might be a light version of this. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and throw Camel Crush Bolds into the S tier. That's an S tier cigarette right there, boy. L and M Reds. I only smoked a couple of these. They were fine. Um, Throw them in the C tier. Newport non-menthols, these fucking suck. I don't know why they made them. They should have just stayed making menthols because those are really good. We're throwing the red menthols or the non-menthols into the D tier because they're terrible. Uh, oh yeah, okay, so I included uh, a few like cigarette adjacent things. Uh, like there, I have cloves in here, one clove thing in here because uh, I did smoke them. Uh, but I also have a couple ones where you roll yourself because I did try doing that. Tops were good. Uh, I didn't like rolling them though, but I remember them tasting good. We'll go ahead and throw top in into the B tier. Camel Menthol Silvers, these are pretty good, um, but I wouldn't say they're great. 
I started smoking these after I had smoked too many camel menthols because the flavor was getting too much. Maybe because I smoked too many cigarettes. Throw them in the B tier. Camel menthols. Uh, so I made the switch to menthols uh, when I started, you know, doing a lot of heavy partying uh, involving drugs. I won't say what kind, but um, the the thing we used to do was we would smoke, we would smoke camel crushes, but we wouldn't pop them and we would chew gum while we smoked them while we were fucked up and then it was just like why don't we just smoke fucking menthols and that's sort of where where i made the transition and once i made the transition to menthols i could never go back to regular tasting cigarettes but these are really good i'm gonna go ahead and throw these into the s tier cool greens i think these are an only menthol company but um i've only had a few of these um but i got nothing bad to say about them I'll throw them in the B tier. Turkish Royals. These cigarettes are really good. Um, they are a little bit too short and leave me wanting a little bit more, but they are pretty delicious and smooth. So we're going to go ahead and throw these into the A tier. And these are Marlboro Lights. These are okay. They're not terrible. I think they're better than the Reds. Uh, we'll throw them in the C tier. Newport uh, menthols, the OG menthol, the the uh, OG Newports. These are probably the best menthol cigarette ever. I didn't smoke them all the time because they were expensive. And when you smoke these, you can really feel the fiberglass fucking stabbing you in the throat. But they are incredible. We're going to go ahead and throw the Newies into the S tier. Dijon Blacks, uh, we have the cloves. I think I, I smoked cloves really early on because I thought they looked cool and I thought they they like crackled when you smoked them and uh, they tasted funny. So I was like, I'm going to be a person that smokes these and uh, that didn't last very long. But uh, I didn't smoke them for a while and I remember them being really good. And then one year for Christmas, me and a bunch of friends did a thing called Cigarette Santa, where we had to, where we drew names and we secretly got somebody else and we had to buy them a pack of cigarettes, but it couldn't be the cigarettes that they currently smoked. It had to be a cigarette that they would smoke. And uh, I didn't have a job at the time or any money really. So I was really excited for this Cigarette Santa exchange. And uh, so I could have a free pack of cigarettes. And then Christmas came and I got mine, and the person had got me Dijon Blacks, and I was so fucking upset. I was so upset. I I wasn't upset until I was. I thought I was fine at first. I was like, oh yeah, I used to smoke these. This is fine. And then I took one hit, and it was really bad. Um, but uh, I think that was just because I started smoking regular cigarettes. I think if I had never smoked a regular cigarette, I would still like the taste of them. But we're still going to throw out of respect and because I did buy like two or three packs of these. And the thing is they do taste good, but I just don't think you can smoke that many of them. I don't think you're supposed to smoke that many of them. I'm gonna go ahead and throw Dijon Blacks into the B tier. Marlboro 27s, uh, these are actually not bad. I think these are better than most Marlboro cigarettes. A lot of friends I, I, I had smoked these and I would usually bum these and I had no problem with it. I never bought them, but they did taste pretty good. We'll go ahead and throw we'll go ahead and throw Marlboro 27s into the A tier actually. These are good cigarettes. Fucking American Spirit Blues, dude, again. Uh not feeling it. Takes too long to smoke. Uh no no chemicals, no fun shit. Uh it's stupid. They're not enjoyable. They give me a headache. D tier. And now this is where I'm going to throw you a curveball cuz I've been talking a lot of shit about American Spirits. American Spirit Blacks are great. Uh, they do still take a long time to smoke, but they are really tasty. And I think they're the best that American Spirit has to offer. And I did buy quite a few packs of these, but I still can't get on board with how long they take to smoke. So we're gonna go ahead and throw American Spirit Blacks into the A tier. Buglers, uh, again, when I was trying to roll my own cigarettes, um, these, I bought, I think I think I bought one tub of this and it was fine. I, I didn't, I don't like rolling my own things. I like when other people do it for me or when a factory does it, uh, but they tasted pretty good. Uh, but again, still kind of annoying to do. So we're going to go ahead and throw buglers into the B tier. Marlboro ultralight 100s. This is what my mom used to smoke. 
and uh, <laughs> man, I, I would take these and I would have to like rip the filters off because if you smoke this with a filter, it's like you're smoking nothing. I don't understand it. It's like, it doesn't taste like anything. It, uh, it, it It's like you're smoking cigarette flavored air. Uh, I would rip the, I would rip the filters off of these and smoke two of them at one time just to feel something. So I'm going to go ahead and throw Marlboro Ultralight 100s into the D tier. And then Camel Wide Menthols. These are not very good. I love Camel Wides, but I think the variations of Camel Wides are a little bit of a miss, uh, but they're not terrible. Um, we're going to go ahead and throw camel wide menthols into the C tier. Um, and I think that's pretty good. I think we are, we did a great job. So let's take a look at the S tier camel reds, camel wides, camel 99s, Pall Mall menthols, lucky strikes, uh, non filters, camel, uh, filters, camel, non filters, camel crush bolds, Camel menthols and Newport menthols. So pretty much the whole S tier is ruled by Camel. I mean, they're the best. It's you can argue with me all you want, but uh, these are the best cigarettes. They taste the best, but at the end of the day, they're all bad for you and will kill you. So I guess that's something to take into account too. The definitive uh, cigarette tier list. Thank you so much for watching this. All right, guys, that is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching if you did. Um, I know this is a little bit off brand from what we usually talk about on the YouTube channel, but I figured this would be a fun thing to do and maybe I'll do more stuff like this in the future. Uh, if you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button, throw a comment on there, and maybe throw me a subscribe if you haven't done that already. I'm pretty sure we tiered out 41 or 42. I think that's pretty good. I have smoked a lot of cigarettes. I don't know how many years that's taken off my life, but I guess we'll find out at some point. Thank you so much much and I will see you around.